Hi, nerds. So this is my fourth video and I wanted to do something a little bit different. I actually wanted to show you how to make something. Um, I've made several of these little things with my comic books and Mod Podge and paint and you can hear stuff rattling around in here because I keep all of my USBs and stuff in there. So it's kind of cool because, you know, it functions, but it's also like really cute and it's really fun to do actually. So I'm going to show you what you need. Uh, to start off with, obviously you need something to put stuff on. Um, this is actually a little jewelry box. I got it from Walmart. I think it was about $3. Second, and probably the second most important, um, Mod Podge. This is kind of a funky little bottle because I've used it a lot. I'm almost out. But um, it's really fantastic stuff. It's amazing. Um, and be sure and you get the gloss one. You're going to need a paintbrush to put all your glue on with your Mod Podge. Um, you're going to need scissors because you're going to have to cut up comic books. So speaking of comic books, be sure when you get these um, to get either more recent ones or make, just make sure they're not collectible. Um, I'll, whenever I buy these, I always get online and uh, make sure that they're not worth anything because that would suck if you jack up a new comic book and find out later that it's worth like $3,000. So, um, I just, like I said, I take these, I get online and I check them out, make sure they're not worth anything. If they're not, um, go ahead and you're going to need your scissors. You're going to start cutting out whatever you want out of these. Um, I always look on the cover for my favorite characters because it usually means obviously they're going to be in it more and featured more. Anyways, we're going to start by opening glue. Oh, it worked that time. I tried to do a trial run of this and I didn't <laughs> get it open last night. So, ew, I really haven't used this in a while. That's nasty. Word to the wise, if you have Mod Podge, be sure ew, that you seal it good because this will happen. Oh, gross. <laughs> Okie dokie then. Alright, so you have glue. Next, you're going to want to get this off. Actually, I'm going to go wash my hands before I do this so I don't stick to the comic books. Be right back. Alright, so now that you're all clean and have all your supplies laid out, next we're going to start by cutting up comic books. Preferably ones that aren't collectible. So, pause. Another good tip, if you're looking for comic books and you're buying comic books, again, usually the newer ones are the glossy, and I don't think I have any of the other ones on here. I think all these are gloss, but they go on a lot better. Um, I have another thing up here that has just the old school print, like newspaper print. Um, they still work good, but they tend to like wrinkle more and they don't have as much color pop which I don't like that as well so if you can find the glossy I highly recommend getting the glossy boom moving on I also like to get ones that have their like little sound effects type things. I'm not really sure what this is supposed to be. I think it's like rock breaking or something or like something exploding. <laughs> I love these. So these are really cool to put on there too, especially down the sides. I think they're a lot of fun. Why have I not put this on anything before? Nightcrawler with a little fedora and a cane. That's epic. Be sure and get little small ones too. Because no matter how much stuff you put on there, you're going to end up with these weird random holes and lines that you're going to need to cover up. <gasps> I cut off Wolverine's toes. <laughs> 
Sorry, Wolverine. Now that you have the ones that you may or may not use on there, you're going to take the ones you really like and start positioning them and cutting them to fit. I'm really digging in this one, I think. I'll use it somewhere. That's pretty cool. And you can do cool stuff too, like if you really want to take the time. I probably won't on this one because I don't have a lot of time today. But you can cut out like the fingers and stuff. So like if you overlay them, then when I do something like this one, her fingers will like kind of edge into this side of the comic. So it actually looks like it's all one flowing piece. So that's pretty cool if you have time to do that. Now on to the next part. You're going to have to kind of separate things out and see what you want where. What I like to do, let me stick this up here so you can see it better. I like to kind of lay it down and if it doesn't fit, just kind of lay it where you want it and start cutting from there and just start trimming up your edges. This works better if you have smaller scissors. And like I said, it doesn't really have to be perfect. I mean, if you're a perfectionist, then you probably can't handle this project. But if you're just going for something fun and cool, then you should be fine. So, once you get that going, you're going to want to do your glue. Alright, now, you're going to have to take everything back off, but kind of remember a general idea of how you had them placed if you want to replace them down on your desk or wherever your workspace is that's not a bad idea now first thing you're gonna do is cover your surface your base with glue and um, I like covering the actual surface better instead of the paper because it keeps it from wrinkling as bad um, learn that the hard way so you're going to cover it really good. I don't recommend covering all of it until you're... Just cover the spaces kind of as you need them. Ooh, don't rip apart. And right now we'll just glue everything down. And then once you're done, you're going to go over it. So it, like the whole outside is going to have a really cool glossy finish. Okay, so that's the top. You can see it. I don't know why it's blurry on my screen right now. Okay, there we go. Now, moving on to the sides. No! Why, Magneto, you don't fit? Um, an X-Acto knife comes in really handy at times like this, but I don't have one on me. So, just going to MacGyver it up a bit. Okay. Just kidding. Growing up, I always wanted Rogue's hair so bad. Like, I, I was bound and determined that I was going to dye my hair. But then I realized I have curly hair, and if I dyed my hair partially white, I would kind of look like a um, <laughs> swirled ice cream cone. <laughs> So that kind of nipped that dream in the bud. On these edges, I did on mine, I, uh, I, uh, my first one, I covered them in comic book. But if you want, you can also paint them because I did that on another one of mine. That's a little lip is actually painted yellow. So that turns out pretty cool because it's another pop of color. So that's another option. Okie dokie. Now that that's all done, we get to do the fun part, which is covering it all in Mod Podge. And you can kind of see what it looks like. It's like a giant comic book. Ah, so much glue! So much glue! Okay, while this dries... You can kind of see it now. Um, it will dry clear. It looks streaky right now, but once it dries, it does dry clear. Um, so while this is drying, I'm going to clean up. Ooh, just kidding. Sorry, Gambit. Um, 
I'm going to clean up and then get ready to start painting my edges. And then this is complete. So what you're going to want to do now to start painting is for sure have something to sit under your stuff you're painting. Since this is really small, I'm just using a notepad because it was in my desk. So I'm going to start off by painting my little drawer. Um, <coughs> you're just going to want to use just basic acrylic paint. Uh, this is Apple Barrel. Which I've used it before and it's pretty good. And there's my little drawer painted. Alright, now what we're going to do is the edges. Alright, so now that everything is set up and dry, this is what it looks like. Ta-da! You can see all our little doodads. His what's it. And I actually think it turned out really cute. It actually turned out cuter than I thought it would. I'm not going to lie. I was a little worried for a minute. Ew. It's still wet. Dang it. I always wanted a green thumb. I never wanted a red one. If you do this tutorial, I would love, 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 love to see it. Post a picture. Um, post it to my blog. Whatever you, however you want to do it. But I would love to see it. And I'd love to see how yours turn out. Especially if you use another type of comic. Um, I'm not a DC fan. Don't hate me. I do like Batman, though. Okay? I do like Batman. But nine times out of ten, I'm not a big DC fan. But if you use DC or you use another Marvel grouping or all kinds of different ones, whatever you want to do. Or you could probably even use book pages for this, would be pretty cool. So show me, show me what you did, and I'm sure it's going to turn out fabulous. So, bye!